I'm Kerry Emanuel. I'm a professor of atmospheric science here at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I work principally in tropical meteorology and also in climate physics. I have a particular specialty in uh, tropical cyclones, aka hurricanes. I was interested in weather in particular since I was a young child. According to my older brother, at the age of two, I was already fascinated with thunderstorms. So I later discovered that uh, I could parlay my interest and ability in mathematics and physics into the study of meteorology, and that's what led me into the field. My research is very much directed at, at, um, at how particular physical processes work in the atmosphere. So I started out being very interested in a branch called mesoscale meteorology, which dealt with thunderstorms and collections of thunderstorms, squall lines, bands of rain and snow and winter storms and so forth. And then it evolved more in the direction of tropical meteorology, where I've taken a big interest in tropical cyclones, in long period oscillations of the equatorial atmosphere, which are still, which still remain very mysterious to us, and also in basic climate physics. How is climate controlled by radiation and convection in particular? My philosophy in pursuing any kind of research question in my science is to throw everything at it that I've got. Um, and I think that's a very good paradigm to do science in general. So I perhaps am mostly a theoretician, and I do lots of just plain theory, but I have done quite a few field experiments. I've even uh, engaged in laboratory experiments and also in numerical modeling. So whatever tools are appropriate to solve the problem, that's what we try to, to use. Well, I'm always excited, most excited about the things that I'm working on now, right, and, and forget about the past. But I suppose that I'm um, I got very excited about mechanisms for the production of rain and snow bands and winter storms back in the early 80s. Sort of figured out the energetics of hurricanes in the mid to late 1980s. Um, at the time, there really didn't exist a, a good theory for hurricanes. Um, and uh, more recently, very interested in the mechanisms that cause wet convection in the atmosphere to cluster. We think that's a fairly profound phenomenon with potentially important consequences for climate, but also for weather in the tropics. And we think we've stumbled on some rather interesting physical mechanisms that might explain why convection clusters the way it does. So for me, the most difficult and challenging aspects of research are probably just getting it funded. You know, in the United States, we have to, we, we fund research by writing grant proposals. I've never enjoyed doing that, nor am I particularly good at it, because I don't really know what I'm going to do when I wake up the next morning. So the idea of planning ahead three years doesn't work particularly well. But I have been mostly lucky in that regard. And it's the main mechanism of funding students and perhaps the most rewarding aspect of my career. And I suspect many of my colleagues would say the same thing as being able to work with a really great bunch of first rate graduate students. Well, it's very, it's very hard for me to tell where my research is going to go next. Right at the moment, I'm very much interested in the, what we call the instability of the radiative convective equilibrium state of the tropical atmosphere, which is kind of the basic state for the atmosphere, and how that might um, regulate climate in the tropics. So I certainly see myself working on that for the next few years. Also very interested in what controls the uh, frequency, duration, tracks, and intensity of hurricanes and how that's connected to the climate and also how that feeds, potentially feeds back into the climate system.